Hello, hello, and welcome to My Garage Tutorials. Today, we are going to be learning how to install mods for My Garage. So I have the game launched right here, and as you can tell, there's supposed to be a mod button down here. There is no mod button, so I don't have anything installed. So let's go ahead and get started and show you exactly how to do this. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is file management. So go ahead and open up File Explorer. You can put this folder wherever you want, but I have it in my C drive. I have it under games, and this is actually where I have my games installed. Here's all my Steam games, Xbox games, Epic Store games, EA, and so on. But I also have a mods folder in here that I want you to create. And then inside this mod folder, go ahead and create a My Garage folder. And under this My Garage folder, create an All Mods folder, and then create a folder for whatever save you're going to be using. So I, I create these separate save folders for the mods. Uh, so whenever I'm on a different save file and if they have different mods installed, I know exactly what was what. So if I look in season two save, uh, we could see that I have only three mods installed for season two. So if I play a different save file, I can have different mods installed and know exactly which ones were installed. So anyway, I want you to go ahead and just uh, yeah create a all mods folder and a save file folder. Okay, once you have those created, the next thing we're gonna do is head over to nexusmods.com. So we're gonna come up here in the browser and just type in nexusmods.com and hit enter. It's gonna bring you to the main page right here. We can search up my garage a couple of different ways. You can come up to this little uh, drop down and switch it to games and then just type in my garage, hit enter, and it's going to pull up, pull it up right here. Just click on my garage. And now we are on the mods page. Um, it's not going to show you all the mods right at first. Uh, so all we have to do is hit popular all time, scroll to the bottom, hit this view more. And now it's going to open up all of the mods. There's 144 of them currently, um, but yes. And then you can sort these however you like. I usually just keep it on the most downloaded. So the first mod that you're going to need, and it's extremely important to get, is going to be mod utilities. Basically, all the mods are going to be using this mod utilities mod, but the way you get it is just click on it, left click. Once this page opens, click on files right here. And then we're just going to be clicking manual download. And then on this page, we're going to be selecting slow download. I don't believe you have to have a Nexus account to do slow download, but you might. So you might need to go ahead and just create yourself an account for the website. Um, and then you just click slow download. Unless you have expendable income, of course, and you can get premium, then you could do fast. We're gonna wait the five seconds to count down, and then depending on your browser, uh, it's gonna go ahead and start downloading. And once it's completed, we're gonna go back to our file explorer. We are going to go to the downloads section in your files explorer, and now we're gonna see mod utilities right here. And what I want you to do is we're gonna keep this thing, so we're gonna right click it and just cut it, or just control X, Go back to your C drive and wherever you put your mods folder and we're going to paste this inside all mods. You can hit control V or you could have right clicked and hit paste, but there it is. Now we need to install mod utilities before we get any other mods. So we're going to head over to Steam again. And once you're on the Steam page, head over to library here. And then on the left, uh, we are going to scroll down until we find my garage in the list, which it's right here. Just give it one left click, and then we're going to go get it, give it a right click, go to manage, and then go to browse local files. And then we're going to be putting mod utilities right into this page right here. So go ahead and grab your window, slap it to the left, and then let's go ahead and click on the uh, folder where we have mod utilities. We're gonna double click on mod utilities here. We're gonna highlight everything inside mod utilities and we're just gonna drag it 
right on over. Now you'll notice these four files were added and there's gonna be a mod folder up here. And if you double click on it, there's gonna be just one little thing in there called simple part loader. But let's go ahead and go back and keep it at this uh, page right here where it's steam, steam apps, common, my garage. And then before we go back to Nexus, just go ahead and come over here, uh, click inside of this folder to rename it and just slap a Z in there, hit enter. And this is just going to ensure that this folder is always at the very bottom of the pile. Okay, now once you are back to Nexus, we are just gonna hit our back button up here and it's gonna bring you back to the page that we were just on. So let's just go ahead and start downloading some mods. Let's go ahead and get infinite money. Scroll down go to files, manual download, and then slow download. There we go, once it counts down, it's gonna download up here. We're just gonna hit back, back again, and back again. And then let's get some more mods. Now I wanted to show you something real quick with uh, like on this new lifter, for instance, on this first page with under description tab, you will see requirements. If you expand that, you will see that mod utilities is required to run this mod, but we already know that we already have that installed. But what's cool is it actually shows you what other mods actually require this new lifter mod. But yeah, if we click on this file here, we can see that this is a uh, save file. It's a mod, but it's a save file. So if you would download this, you would get this building and you would have all of this stuff inside here, but you could see that he has, or she has these lifts in here. And that's why that mod is required for this mod. Anyway, we're gonna close this out. That's actually really freaking cool. And then we're going to go ahead and just go back Back to this page, we're back on the lifter mod again. So we're just gonna go to file, we're gonna hit manual download and download. All right, and now that one is complete and then just hit back, hit back again and again and again. And now we're back to this page once again. I'm gonna go ahead and download some more mods real quick. And in fact, I don't recommend this infinite money mod. Um, I recommend using this one here. It's called My Garage Money Cheat Menu. Um, it's going to put a little thing there and you can give yourself money like in increments of $1,000, $5,000. Uh, so I do recommend this money cheat over uh, the other one. Anyway, let's go ahead and download this. Okay, I pretty much have everything installed that I, I want, but I did want to show an example on this one here. It's called a reworked car spawner. Now, some of the mods don't just go willy-nilly clicking files and downloading them. Um, do read the stuff that's in this uh, description file. As you can see down here, you can open the menu with B and rebind in mod settings. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this installed. And it's just the same as before all the other ones. Manual, uh, this here will show you what's required. We already know and already have it. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and hit that slow download and let's move on to the next step. Okay, so once you have all of the mods installed, we're going to open up a different Windows Explorer. So just right click, hit File Explorer once again, and then we're going to go over to Downloads. We're going to swip this over here to the right, and then we are going to be picking our mod folder that we have. The one that's in C, Games, Mods, My Garage, and then we're going to go to the All Mods folder, folder and then we're going to go ahead and put all of these into this folder over here, just like so. Click, and as you notice with the Z, it moved it all the way to the bottom. So now all of your mods will be up top and then that utilities will just be right there, so perfect. Okay, so the next step, once you have them all in your all mods folder, then you can move them into whatever save file. So we're gonna be doing tutorial. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click, hold shift, click, now we're gonna copy all of these, not cut them, but copy of them. So control C or right click, and this symbol here is gonna be your copy, control C. And then we are going to go back to our folder for our save. In this case, we're using tutorial, and then we're going to control V and paste, or you could have just right clicked and pasted that way. 
So now all of our mods are now in the appropriate folder. Now we need to go ahead and navigate back over to our My Garage Steam install folder. So let's close the download folder. Let's go back to Steam. We're gonna open up Steam again. Remember, right-click My Garage, Manage, and Browse Local Files. Now we could see the destination up here. It's PC, C Disk, Games, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, my garage so we're in this folder now let's go ahead and push this over to the right and then we're going to have our save file with the mods in it on the left and now over here on the right again with the steam apps we're going to open up the mods folder and now we're going to start moving all the mods over the best way and easiest way to do this is just double click grab the dll file and just drag it over you don't need the readme file but feel free to read the readme files for each mod as they might pertain important information. So let's go ahead and do that with each one. Back, double click, and just bring it over. Yep. Now, I don't want this initial release folder. This is that infinite money mod that I didn't want. So we're just going to go ahead and delete that one because I have the other money mod down here that I do want. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue moving everything over. And there's the last one. Perfect. Yeah, so now basically when I'm done with this, I can just delete all these mods out of the Steam folder and then go back to my save folder, which I only have these three and put these in there. Uh, so this is my YouTube playthrough, right? Um, and it won't mess me up. So that's why I have these other uh, save files, right? Anyway, once that's all in there, uh, all we're going to do is just close all of the folders and then let's launch my garage and there we go once my garage is loaded uh, you're going to see mods down here on the left if you click it you can see them uh, all installed just right here now you're going to see these little wrenches up in the top right corner of each mod uh, most mods you won't be able to edit anything but as you can tell with this new car spawner we can just click on this little wrench and then we can choose what we use to pull up this mod menu. Uh, B is by default. Uh, we are going to actually do left control plus B to open up that mod. But let's go ahead and get in. Now, I don't want to use this on a current save that I have. So we're going to hit new game. And then we are going to just go to the second one here and then uh, load it up. Okay, when you come into the game, uh, we can see in the top left that there's this toggle menu button. This is for the money cheat. So we could just go ahead and spam this as much as we want. And you also have to click it again before you uh, hit escape. But now you can see we have $55,000 up there. So we could easily just come over here and purchase this expansion. And now we own the whole garage. Now I want to show you guys where to find most of the mods that you install. This is a paint booth that we installed over here. Uh, if we come over to it, this mod requires uh, $5,600 to do. So just hit escape, toggle, give ourselves some money. Don't forget to close the menu and then you can purchase it. Okay, fantastic. Now check it out. Remember with that other mod, for the vehicle spawns, we rebinded it to left control B. You're going to see this thing pop open over here. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get a car. Oh, wow, dude. They definitely updated this, by the way. Uh, yeah, looks like all the freaking cars are in here. Let's just go ahead and pick a Jason. You can also choose the condition on this mod. This ain't a mod review, but uh, we are just going to go ahead and grab a brand, a new car, but you can get a junk, ruined, crashed, used, survival, or a barn find car. But let's just hit create car. And then you just hit control B again, or whatever you binded that to. And here we go. We have a brand new car. Loan. Let me just show you guys where the rest of the mods are located. Some of them, some mods will show up wherever like it says you know what i mean but some of them will go to a mod shop and i, I want to show you guys where that's located all right let's just uh let's come out to this view get turned around real quick and you're gonna go this way 
oops, stay on the road, make a left, right? And you're just going to follow this road all the way down to the next left. You can see that beach down there with those houses. Yep, make this left, and then it's just going to be right down here. And it's going to be uh, right here in this big, large building. Uh, you could park outside. You could even just pull your vehicles right on in. Uh, but yeah, this will be the mod shop where you buy the mods that you installed. And then once you purchase them, uh, some of the items, you just have to come over to the thing over here to pay for them and collect them. I mean, uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it uh, for installing mods. I don't think there's anything else to really go over. If you have any questions, fire down below and I'll see if we can get those answered for you. But let's go ahead and crash this thing at, for an outro. <laughs> okay well i think that's gonna be it for this one you guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and uh yeah if you have any questions fire down below and i'll see if i can get them answered later on everybody later on